Today on Cooking Up a Good Life, I'll be preparing an oven roasted butternut squash and tasso bisque. But I'm gonna go ahead and start by cutting this butternut squash in half. You wanna be careful. And you gotta take the seeds out of the butternut squash. And I'm gonna go ahead and season up the butternut squash. First by drizzling a little olive oil on the squash. And then a little sea salt and some cracked black pepper. And I'm going to place it in my 350 degree oven. And I'm going to roast it for approximately an hour and a half. And what's going to happen, it's going to come out looking like this. Nice and golden brown, crusty on the outside. And then I'm going to scoop out the pulp. I've got two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna add about a cup of onion and a cup of tasso. Next ingredient we're gonna add is chicken stock. I've got a couple of cups of chicken stock. You always wanna use a chicken stock or a chicken broth in lieu of just plain water because again, it adds that dimension of flavor. I've got a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna spice things up with a little bit of Tabasco. And here's a little secret spice that's gonna bump up the flavor in this dish, nutmeg. A lot of people are gonna wonder what the, what the spice is. Uh, you can either tell them or you don't have to. You can keep it our secret. Then we have our butternut squash that we roasted off in the oven. And the butternut squash is gonna act as our thickener on this particular dish. Oh yeah, that is looking good. You can see that the squash cooking down with the cream and the stock has given it a nice body. And don't let the amount of cream fool you. It's not a heavy soup. It, it may appear to be because it has the cream in it, but we cut the cream with the stock. So the stock is giving it flavor. The cream is giving it some body along with the butternut squash. And I tell you, I think it's ready to serve up. This would be a great soup to have with a crusty loaf of French bread, a nice bottle of white wine. We we'll go ahead and garnish it up with a little chopped parsley. If you'd like a copy of this recipe or any of the recipes featured on Cooking Up a Good Life, you can visit my website at www.cookingupagoodlife.com. For LouisianaTravel.com, I'm Chef Patrick Mould.